Hello, this is Kapil Chaudhary. I'll be speaking about Meta Center today. Meta Center, in respect of the ship, is defined as a point at which the verticals through the center of buoyancies would meet when a vessel rolls through small angles of heel on either side of upright equilibrium up to 6 or 7 degrees which is small angle of heel. Now Meta Center can also be understood in a practical way. For example, if a ship rolls on either side of the equilibrium, the center of buoyancy goes in an arch and when we talk about the vessel rolling through about 6 to 7 degrees on either side of equilibrium, we may say there are numerous center of buoyancies and respectively numerous water lines. When we draw upright through each of these center of buoyancies to respective water lines, they would meet at a point that is called transverse meta center. From the center of gravity to meta center is typically referred as metacentric height. Now, this we were talking about rolling. Now, similarly, when we look at the side profile of the ship and if the vessel pitches on either side of the even keel equilibrium posture, the water lines are numerous, center of buoyancies are also numerous. If upright is drawn to respective water lines, they would meet at a point which is called longitudinal meta center. This longitudinal meta center is very high up. Now the formula of BM for the box vessel is B squared upon 12D and if you want to find out the BML, BML is L squared upon 12D. This is for the box vessel. So if we talk about a ship that has a triangular section, triangular transverse section in a four and a half view with apex down. For this type of ship, the BM transverse is given by B square upon 6D and BM longitudinal is given by L square upon 6D. Now in both these type of ships, what is common is the transverse underwater section in a four and a half view is uniform and on such a ship you have seen that the transverse stability parameters are independent of length. Mm -hmm. The similar thing can be said also about a ship shape vessel. A ship shape vessel, you can uh, generally say that the stability or GM depends a lot on the beam of the vessel. So if your company has got two similar ship, similar looking ships uh, with more or less similar dimensions except the beam, then you will find that the vessel with the broader beam is more stiff and vessel with a smaller beam is more tender which means if we increase or decrease the beam of the ship the effect on BM is much more intense and this is the reason when a ship goes to angle of law there is a new angle of equilibrium where G and B they come in one line and in such alternate angle of equilibrium that is angle of law what happens is the beam of the vessel is more than the beam when upright and in fact the beam becomes B sec angle of law and because the present beam is more than the upright beam the BM becomes higher and that's why M goes higher than G and that's how the ship behaves like a stable vessel. Now as per the Intex Stability Code 2008 there is a requirement that the loading and stability manual must have a relationship between GM minimum and the draft or kg max versus the draft. There is a requirement that there is a graph of kg max versus the draft or GM minimum versus the draft. Whenever you do the loading on the ship or you sail out from the port, it has to be in compliance with this graph. This graph is a ready rectal or a quick a reference graph whereby you know for a particular draft this is the minimum GM I must have or this is the maximum kg I can have. Let us understand GM with the help of heel diagram. I draw a box vessel 
the transverse section here is the line parallel to the deck and this is the present water level so I'll call this line as WO and this line as W1 L1 the center of buoyancy this is the wedge which was under water has come above water and this is the wedge which was above water has gone under water so in a way the buoyancy of this wedge B has got transferred to this point B1 and parallel and proportional to BB1 I draw a line BB1 the buoyancy of the wedge has got transferred from here to here buoyancy of underwater has got transferred from here to here as the vessel has healed to this small angle of heat now BB1 is not parallel to deck BB1 is not horizontal also but BB1 is parallel to BB1 now from B1 I draw a line vertically up if the position of center of gravity was here then this distance is the writing lever from G the weight of the ship acts vertically down now uprights drawn from B and B1 to the respective water lines they meet at M so provided this is a small angle of heel up to 6 or 7 degrees this point is transverse metacenter this is metacentric height and this B to M BM is found by the formula so this is the diagram for transverse metacenter I will now draw the GZ curve and let us see what references we can draw from the GZ curve with respect to transverse metacenter so here is the GZ curve right now why do I say that transverse metacenter is defined for the small angles of heel because till the small angles of heel say 6 to 7 degrees the curve runs straight line that straight line is tangent to the curve at origin when this line is extended and at 57.3 degrees if an ordinate is drawn the height of this ordinate as measured on the GZ axis as measured on the GZ axis is the metacentric height GM now the metacenter is not only defined for a symmetrical object like ship ship is symmetrical about the center line so sometimes I've seen people defining the metacenter with respect to the center line of the ship actually it should not be defined with respect to center line of the ship because some ships may not be having a proper center line for example the aircraft carrier the metacenter should be defined in terms of uprights drawn through numerous center of buoyancies on respective water lines that is the correct way of understanding metacenter because even if an object is irregular shaped it has its metacenter now with the help of a graph I will try to show you what is the relationship between the draft KB BM of a box vessel let us say uh, the ship has drafts up to 10 meters it's a box vessel and beam of the ship is 20 meters So uh, here it is not applicable BM for the draft of 1 meter it will be 400 divided by 12 into 1 that is 33.33 when the draft is 2 meters it is 400 divided by 24 that makes it 16.7 for 3 meters it is 400 divided by 36 that is 11.1 for 4 meters draft it is 400 divided by 48 that makes it 8.3 for 5 meters draft it is 
400 divided by 60 that makes it 6.7 for 6 meters draft is 400 divided by 72 that makes it 5.5 for 7 meters draft it is 400 divided by 84 that makes it 4.76 and for 8 meter draft is 400 divided by 96 that makes it 4.17 for 9 meters draft it is 400 divided by 108 that makes it 3.7 and for 10 meter draft it is 400 divided by 120 that is 3.3 .3. now after BM we add the second and third column that makes it km km will be not applicable here then 33.8 we'll go for one digit of decimal 8.2 and 8.3 so if we draw a graph whereby we show the graphs here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. For 1 meter draft, the KM is 33.8. For 2 meters draft, the KM is 17.7. .7. For 3 meters draft, it is 12.6. For 4 meters draft, it is 10.3. 5 meters draft, it is 9.2. 6 meters draft, it is 8.2. Then 8.3, 8.2. 8.2 and 8.3 for 5 meters draft it is 9.2 for 5 meters draft it is 9.2 for 6 meters draft it is 8.2 for 7 meters draft it is 8.3 for 8 meters draft again it is 8.17 9 meters draft it is 8.2 and then 8.3 for 10 meter draft. So position of meta center above the key drawn for a box vessel. If we want to draw a graph of KV then probably it can be drawn like this. This is a graph for KV and this is a graph for KM.